It's Jill for today. Jill for Tuesday. <laughs> Say hello over there. Hello. Well, we've been remiss. Is that a good word for that? Remiss? Yeah. yeah. We have tried every day, <coughs> excuse me, to do, a, actually, we were going to do an actual signature glass of wine at the table, and we just never got it done. Everything kind of got, you know, the day over, and, and there we were. So, here we are. Say something. Hi. I got new glasses. <laughs> he got new glasses. And we're on the way to get chill. I saw it. It's a hawk. Red tail hawk. Yeah. Just flew in the top of that tree. Yeah, that was neat. Um, anyway, we've been taking lots of beautiful rides in the country. Oh, beautiful drives. We, by the way, speaking of beautiful drives, at the end of this video, I'm going to tag on a day trip. We went out to the Oregon coast. And it's kind of choppy, and I didn't really finish it. But I'm I'm going to tag it onto the back of this so you, you can see it. So yeah, we've been. What is it? Oh, I thought you were going to say something. No. So I'm having a pretty good hair day. You mm. think? No. Oh no. It's okay. It's, I'm not having a very good. I said I'm having a pretty good hair day. Okay. What everybody's is it now? Everybody's entitled to <laughs> their own opinion. Okay. I'm not. You are. No, I'm not. <laughs> this is not a good hair day. Oh, I thought your hair looked pretty good. What do you think? Look at yeah, there. Yeah, but you thought your hair looked pretty good, too, so. Touche. The Oregon strawberry season has begun, and we have been eating strawberries like crazy. And we're out of them, and we're going to go back and get another basket. We have a farm just down the road from us, and we're getting hoods. The sweetest, most delicate, most fabulous strawberries, bar none. Anyway, so what I was going to say is, I've got so much to talk about. The director says to me, so what is, what is gonna be your new hobby? Because I, I tried the, of course weaving will always be my life, but I can't do weaving because of my back anymore. So that one's gone. And I tried pottery, remember he bought me pottery lessons and you know, it was, it was okay. It, I think, you know, I was, it was more in my brain than Anyway, so that one passed by. I said, here is what I love to do. And I don't have to buy any new equipment. I don't have to have a studio. I don't have to have paintbrushes. I love cooking. Cooking. I love baking bread. So, my hobby, and I'm going to have to work it into our diet because I'm going to do it. Bread. I want to start making, like, awesome bread that's, like, bread. He's a bread freak. Well, this works right into my hobby, which is eating. Yeah, he he absolutely adores bread. And quite honestly, I could make a loaf of bread and it could sit on the counter. I'll have like one slice of it, you know, when it's come out of the oven. The rest of it could sit there and mold. I, I you know, I mean, I like bread, but it's not like I like bread. So bread is going to be the main focus, I think. And then I want to cook some of my people's food. I want to start really working on Italian food. I have a file box, like you know, of my mother's recipes, one of which is the first recipe I'm going to do in my series of Italian cooking is our spaghetti sauce, or gravy, as my dad used to call it when we I were kids. your mother was German. My mother, it's my, doesn't matter. My mother cooked Italian food. My father was straight up Italian. What now? I didn't say a word. Well, then say something. Hello. <laughs> so I'm going to start cooking Italian. And so this this next cooking I will do is going to be uh, our, our pasta sauce. And I hope you'll check into that. It's a little different, but it's excellent sauce. And then I'll just sort of build onto that. Okay, so I got that one done. I haven't done a ladies video, and that's coming up. I have things that have just kind of piled up here, and now I've got a, a, spite, uh, a glob of thyme, and I'm going to start doing that now. Finally, we canceled our trip to Canada. It's just too much for us anymore. Neither of us uh, like the long drives, and uh, and the trip was going to be all walking too, and uh, between various physical ailments that we both have, a lot of walking is not something that's good for us. So we decided just to go with day trips. And, uh, you know, we'll get more bang for our buck and have uh, have fun. And anything we were going to do in Canada, we can do here in the Portland area. The other thing, too, is, you know, after that trip to California, 
we are not long vacation people. You know, where you're gone for 10 days or two weeks. I, that was like... It was hell. It wasn't very good. And that's what this trip to Canada was going to be. It was another 10-day trip. and Where you're constantly moving. Yeah. Yeah. You know, people always say, well, why don't you try a cruise? And we've talked about cruises. We've actually booked cruises, two or three of them, and canceled them. Because we said, cruising is just not us. Well, it's, you know, we're not musical people and live show people. Casinos, and, yeah. casinos. That's not us. Shuffleboard. But, yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, the, so you know, that's the problem with. And you know the other thing about cruising. We if we cruised, we'd want to go back to Alaska. And we understand. You know, you get into these ports and you have like five hours. Get out there and port. And it that includes the time you get on the little boat and get into town and get on the boat and come back. So you don't really even get some good quality time. Every time we went to Alaska, we spent days. We spent yeah. Days in Juneau and days in Ketchikan and went out salmon fishing and, uh, you know, walked the shops and we just had a good time. And you just can't do that on a cruise. So the cruising idea is, is not for us. Anyway, um, I think... Is that it? Was there anything else that we hadn't covered that... No, just we've been, you know... Just busy All right, everybody. Well, now, don't forget, hang on for just a second. You're going to see that crazy video at the beach. And thanks a lot for being there. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed and you liked what you saw, I hope you'll subscribe. I'm closing in on 6,000 subscribers. Oh. And when I hit 6,000, we're going to have a little giveaway. So keep keep that in mind. And that's it for you know, now. Uh, Take care. We'll see you soon. Thanks a lot. We love you all. This bye is bye. Jill for today. Hi. And I'm freezing my butt off. <laughs> we decided to take a drive out to the coast. <clears throat> and it's gorgeous, as you can see. I mean, it's just, it is so darn cold. Gorgeous and cold. <laughs> so we went to the Tilburg Cheese Factory just to use the bathroom. <laughs> and he's now trying to get into a block of, a block of Tillamook cheese. But if I ever do, it's going to be worthwhile because it's three plus years old, extra sharp, check. We decided to buy a little cheese, but they only had these big blocks. Anyway, so we bought a cutting board and we bought some cheese and some uh, crackers. I brought an apple. Because we are two wild and crazy guys. <laughs> and we are freezing <laughs> on so I said, well, he says, do you want to go? And I said, no. Oh my god. You're if crazy. anybody's got the key to this cheese wrapper. <laughs> I'm going to pan around here. This is the picnic uh, area. It is beautiful. It really is. And you know what's nice? There's nobody here. Except for these people walking up the path. Uh, Jack the Ripper. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. Did you do it? Did you do it? Sort of. Yes. Oh my gosh. He did it. All right. Yep, I will. Okay, so should we get a little food here? Yeah. All right. This is, this is the Oregon coast. We're at Cape Lookout. And it is absolutely an amazing day. Listen to those waves. Oh. Check down here. You'll have a see the little light and the numbers. We're both recording at the same time. It's amazing, isn't it? And we bought a great lunch. We went to the cheese factory. We're gonna have some lunch. It's gorgeous. All right. So back in the car. Our little snack was good, but boy, did we freeze our buns off. Cold. It was cold. Windy. So, oh yeah, that was it. It was windy. So now yeah, I almost what? fell off. The oh cliff. my god! So he decides he's going to shake out the blanket because we use the blanket as a tablecloth. And that's not a euphemism. Which part? Shaking out the shaking blanket. out the blanket. So how kinky! So <clears throat> he goes over to the edge of the cliff. Why he felt he needed to go that far to shake out the blanket? 
And literally, he did trip. And I said, I wanted to oh my God. return the uh, crumbs to the ocean. Well, you almost returned you to the ocean. Yeah. And it was, it was actually a little scary. So we're back in the car, and we are now going to Jacobson's Salt, which is on this road that we came out to this uh, campsite, not, uh, state park. And they sell salt um, that is gathered here off the Oregon coast. In Tillamook Bay. In Tillamook Bay. They claim, and I don't see why I wouldn't believe them, that the water here produces the most uh, luscious, pure salts. So we're going to check that out. I always see it in stores and I always say I'm going to buy it and I don't get around to buying it. Well, I guess I'm going to buy some today. I would think so. And they have all kinds of different flavors. They have smoked, they have regular, I think they have some with like uh, rosemary in it, that kind of thing. So we'll, if I can, I'll try to take some pictures in there for you guys. Anything? Cold. It is cold. My hands, you know how when you get real cold and your hands start to warm up, they burn, mm, tingle, yeah, that's what I've got. Yeah. Right now. yeah, me too. All right, everybody, we'll check in later. We are here at Jacob's and Salt, and this is, you can't see behind there, this is where they're boiling it off the water to make the salt. It smells amazing. There we go, yes. See, there's some fire, I think you can see it. Anyway, this is cool, it's right here on the bay. It is gorgeous. So we're going to go inside their little hut there and check out some salt. This is great. 